Hello again everybody. I'm still watching Contest 30 video entries so I thought I would take a little break and show you a really cool car trick that will impress the ladies and then I will show you how it's done. So as soon as I'm done with all the videos I'll upload the results as soon as possible so please be patient. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, oh look there I am, the Jack of Hearts. We'll turn the Jack of Hearts face up in the middle of the deck and we'll give the cards couple of cuts and we're going to have spectator just say stop whenever they'd like right there okay so this is going to be your card the four of hearts we'll set it down right there and now I'll cut the cards as many times as you'd like me to whenever you say stop I'll stop stop okay now we're going to take half the deck so we'll take 26 cards 2 4 6 8 10 12 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. Set two piles down. And now let's see if the Jack of Hearts, me, can find your card, the Four of Hearts. So I'm going to deal the cards down just like that together. And when I get down to the Jack, we'll see if the Jack has found your card. There's the Jack of Hearts. And... Right over here in this pile next to the Jack of Hearts should be your card, the Four of Hearts. I found your card. Now I did say this trick will impress the ladies, and it does because all the ladies are right there watching. So this is a really easy card trick. It requires a very slight setup. And let me show you. What you want to do is you want to take the Four Queens out of the deck and you want to have 48 cards so get rid of the jokers so four queens plus 48 cards now you want to take 24 cards 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 2 3 4 make sure 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 2 3 4 okay you have two packs of 24. We're going to take a queen, put it on the top and the bottom, and the other pack. Place a queen on the top and the bottom. Now, we're going to decide which pack we want to put on top. So if we want to put this pack on top, we're going to find a card there that we're, that's going to be our locator card. And in this case, let me use the Jack of Hearts again. We're going to set that now on the bottom, and then we're going to place this pack on top of this pack. So the setup now is we have a queen in the first position, a queen in the 25th position, our indicator card, the jack, in the 26th, a queen in the 27th, and a queen in the 52nd position. And we're ready to begin. Now, what you can do is you can actually lift the deck up and locate that jack and find the jack in between the two queens or whatever card it is and then just flip that card over. What I did was I put a little pencil mark on the back of the jack so I was able to find it from behind. So you flip the card over, you set the cards on top. Now you can do a false cut or two and just keep the order the same. Do not disturb the order of the deck. And then what you want to do is you want to have a spectator select a card and it has to be in the bottom half of the deck. Because the top 26 cards you have the jack in the 26th position, so you want to have a spectator select the cards, a card in the bottom half. So you're going to start your riffle about right there. So you're going to say, tell me when to stop, and make sure that when you say that, you're past the halfway point. So you say, tell me when to stop. They say, stop right there. You say, okay. You set the top half of the deck down. You show them this card, which is the ten of spades. Set it on top. Place the rest of the deck on top. So now the rest of the trick is self-working. Their card's the Ten of Spades, and your card is the Jack of Hearts. You can cut the cards as long as you complete the cut as many times as you want. And now what you want to do is you want to count off 26 cards. You do not want to deal them down and reverse the order, so you want to just count off 26. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And then you set the cards down just like this, and you deal them. And you, while you're doing this, you tell the spectator that... Um, you make up some story because this you don't want this to be boring. So you say, okay, this trick, well, I'm boring you right now. We're going to have my locator card 
me, the jack, and that's why it's good to choose a card, because you could be the king, you could be the jack, you can choose your favorite card in the deck, but you say your card, when you get down to it, is going to find their card. And their card was the ten of spades, and there you are at the jack, and you say, and now my card, the jack, has found your card, the ten of spades. And right there, that looks pretty cool, like it's the end of the trick, and then you can uh, finish the trick by saying, and this trick always impresses all the ladies. So that's it. Let me know what you guys think. I've seen this trick done before with the four aces. I've also seen the trick done where it's not only the four aces where you have the ace in the first, the 25th, the 27th, the 52nd position, but all 52 cards are set up so you can take it one step further and then show that you've got all the diamonds here, ace through king, all the way around. But if you don't want to set up all 52 cards, it's a lot easier just to pull out four cards like the four queens, and set the deck up. It takes less time. So, let me know what you guys think. Back to watching the video responses. That's it. I'll see you next time.